Top boss, have you ever wondered how the street lights come on during the night and switch off in the morning or during the day? Today we discuss about that in our practical video where I will be showing you how to wire a photo cell. In other cases you find that this load is too huge that something else will have to be applied which we will talk about in our next video. But in this video let us talk about how a photo cell turns on a light off. We will get rid of the manual switching and implement this automated switch that uses light on its photo sensor so that it can turn off lights during the morning or during the day and turn on the lights during the evening. Top boss, watch this video so that you may find an and lights on during the day and lights which will continue to be on instead of them being off, especially during the day. Top boss, have you? So my practical board is set up in this manner. There's a lighting point. We have the manual switch that is operated there as well as a demonstration of how a consumer unit is definitely set up. My top boss, if you are ready to learn in our today's session, kindly smash the like button and let us get right into it. My top boss, welcome to our today's video where we are talking about changing this manual switch here into something that is automatic and you are going to use a photo cell i have a zodion photo cell whereby i will be able to activate the light using this sensor this is the photo cell that i have so instead of this manual switch which i will get rid of i will have to wire this and then we will be testing it to see whether it will activate this light automatically. So welcome. To be on the safe side, I will first start by switching off the entire light circuit. My circuit is activated by this MCB, which is a 6 ampere. And when I turn it off, my light will be off. If I turn it on, my light is on. So to make sure that I turn it off, it's definitely at this particular point here. Now I will get rid of this entire switch here. So let's do it. The wiring will remain the same. The only thing that I'm getting rid of is this switch. Now my top boss having gotten rid of the manual switch, it is time for me now to wire this photo cell. But then for us to understand this photo cell wiring, it is important for me to mention these two important things here that this photo cell must receive power supply in this sense first it has a connection for the face and then the neutral which is a return because the circuit in here has to be fed for it to operate and then there is an output signal which is also a face and a neutral the neutral is sharing the incoming as well as the outgoing so we will just have one connection and then for the face that is outgoing is only one so we will need to wire three cables to this photo cell so first of all i will have to mount this holder here to these points so there is a connection for live here and there is a connection for neutral as you can see there is an indication for neutral 
the same neutral that the light is also sharing. Let's connect it. Now, since this particular photo cell will require the incoming live, which is this one, we'll have it, let me fold it like so. And then this one, which is the LO or the live out, we connect it like so. And then because the photo cell requires a neutral connection, we we'll simply tap it from this particular point here, which is the neutral that is going to the bulb. For the neutral, we'll simply strip it. Remember my circuit, is it really off? My circuit is off. So for purposes of demonstration, I will simply strip it at this point. Then I will introduce this neutral here because I have to feed it to this photo cell. So I will simply have it come all the way. Remember, this is for demonstration purposes. But if you are to make a good joint, you cannot make such a joint. You need to do a perfect joint right there. So with that, we'll definitely have to tape it. Introduce an insulating tape there. Now, having wired our photo cell this way, we need to connect it to this particular point. Let me just recap what I've done. There is an incoming live connection from our MCB or the miniature circuit breaker, which is this one. This is the live. And then we have the neutral, which the photo cell requires has a return of course for its circuit and then the output which is this one we will connect it also to the photo cell so that the photo cell is fed with the live and the neutral and then it gives an output which will go to our bulb here so let us connect it that's good, that's good. That's good. For this L here, this is the incoming live, which is this one. Connect it at that point. And then tighten our screw. And then for our neutral, we will connect it at this particular point here, N, so that... Uh, our photo cell has a complete circuit fed to it. And then finally, last but not least, we have the LO or L out or live out. This is what is fed to now our bulb. All right. So it loosen the screw. 
then connect it like so. So there we have it. We have our neutral, have our L in, and our L out to our bulb. Right. Now my top boss having connected our photo cell, it is time for us to test it. Just to elaborate what I have done, this photo cell requires a supply of electricity through a live connection and a neutral connection. A photo cell requires an incoming circuit for it to operate the electronic function that consists of the sensor whereby the sensor must be activated and this is done by ensuring that the circuit gets the live and the neutral connection. So we connected the live connection from the source. The neutral connection has been tapped from the light circuit. Remember, the neutral is never disconnected under any circumstances for this particular circuit so that to ensure that it is intact well connected all the time. Of course, you cannot tap the neutral from the mains there, so that if at all the circuit of the lighting has an issue, this entire system fails. At the output feed to the bulb, we will require this LO or L output, which we have also wired as I have shown you. So let us go ahead and test this system, whether it can work. The simple test is this, we will activate it at this point here and because there is presence of light and this photocell is sensing that there is light, our bulb remains to be off. What if we block the light from the sensor, the bulb should come on. So we block the light from this photocell using this paper here so that will reflect or that will mean it is at night. Kojaba. So there you go. If it is at night, our bulb is on. If you get rid of the paper, we expose the photo cell to light and our bulb definitely goes off. If we repeat the same process, goes on that means it is at night or there is no presence of light. When we get rid of it, that means it's at dawn or in the morning, our bulb goes off. The advantages in this is that it preserves the lifespan of the light. Another important thing is that it saves you on the bills that you pay for lighting and also it saves you on employing a person that will have to go and switch it on and off whenever there is need be. So my top boss having connected it and confirmed that indeed our system is working. It is as simple as that. You can also execute it as a DIY project at your home or your school. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John and this is top heights electricals and electricians if you have not subscribed to our channel subscribe so that you don't miss future videos such as this my talk will see you in the next one